Ancient Egyptian mathematics is the mathematics that was developed and used in ancient Egypt c. 3000 to c. 300 BC, from the Old Kingdom of Egypt until roughly the beginning of Hellenistic Egypt. The ancient Egyptians utilized a numeral system for counting and solving written mathematical problems, often involving multiplication and fractions. Evidence for Egyptian mathematics is limited to a scarce amount of surviving sources written on papyri. From these texts it is known that ancient Egyptians understood concepts of geometry, such as determining the surface area and volume of three-dimensional shapes useful for architectural engineering, and algebra, such as the false position method and quadratic equations. Overview Written evidence of the use of mathematics dates back to at least 3000 BC with the ivory labels found in tomb UJ at Abydos. These labels appear to have been used as tags for grave goods and some are inscribed with numbers. Further evidence of the use of the base 10 number system can be found on the Nama Macehead which depicts offerings of 400,000 oxen, 1,422,000 goats and 120,000 prisoners. The evidence of the use of mathematics in the Old Kingdom, c. 2690-2180 BC is scarce but can be deduced from inscriptions on a wall near a mastaba in Mydum which gives guidelines for the slope of the mastaba. The lines in the diagram are spaced at a distance of one cubit and show the use of that unit of measurement. The earliest true mathematical documents date to the 12th dynasty, c. 1990–1800 BC. The Moscow Mathematical Papyrus, the Egyptian Mathematical Leather Roll, the Lahun Mathematical Papyri, which are a part of the much larger collection of Cahun Papyri, and the Berlin Papyrus 6619, all date to this period. The Rhine Mathematical Papyrus which dates to the Second Intermediate Period c. 1650 BC is said to be based on an older mathematical text from the 12th dynasty. The Moscow Mathematical Papyrus and Rhine Mathematical Papyrus are so-called mathematical problem texts. They consist of a collection of problems with solutions. These texts may have been written by a teacher or a student engaged in solving typical mathematics problems. An interesting feature of ancient Egyptian mathematics is the use of unit fractions. The Egyptians used some special notation for fractions such as 1 2 1 3 display style tfrac 1 2 tfrac 1 3 and 2 3 display style tfrac 2 3 and in some texts for 3 4 Display style tfrac 3 4, but other fractions were all written as unit fractions of the form 1 n. Display style tfrac 1 n, or sums of such unit fractions. Scribes used tables to help them work with these fractions. The Egyptian mathematical leather roll, for instance, is a table of unit fractions which are expressed as sums of other unit fractions. The Rhine Mathematical Papyrus and some of the other texts contain 2 n display style tfrac 2 n tables. These tables allowed the scribes to rewrite any fraction of the form 1 n display style tfrac 1 n as a sum of unit fractions during the New Kingdom c. 1550 to 1070 BC mathematical problems are mentioned in the literary papyrus Anastasii and the papyrus Wilbur from the time of Ramesses III records land measurements in the workers village of Deir el Medina several ostraca have been found that record volumes of dirt removed while quarrying the tombs topic <laughs> sources Current understanding of ancient Egyptian mathematics is impeded by the paucity of available sources. The sources that do exist include the following texts, which are generally dated to the Middle Kingdom and Second Intermediate Period. The Moscow Mathematical Papyrus The Egyptian Mathematical Leather Roll The Lahan Mathematical Papyri The Berlin Papyrus 6619, written around 1800 BC The Akmim Wooden Tablet the Rise of Papyrus, dated to the early 12th dynasty of Egypt and found in Nag el Deir, the ancient town of Thenes. The Rhind Mathematical Papyrus, RMP, dated from the Second Intermediate Period, c. 1650 BC, but its author, Armes, identifies it as a copy of a now lost Middle Kingdom papyrus. 
The RMP is the largest mathematical text. From the New Kingdom, there are a handful of mathematical texts and inscriptions related to computations. The Papyrus Anastasii, a literary text written as a fictional letter written by a scribe named Hori and addressed to a scribe named Amenemope. A segment of the letter describes several mathematical problems. Austrakan Senmut 153, a text written in Hieratic. Austrakan Turin 57170, a text written in Hieratic. Austrica from Deir el Medina contain computations. Austrican IFAO 1206 for instance shows the calculation of volumes, presumably related to the quarrying of a tomb. Numerals Ancient Egyptian texts could be written in either hieroglyphs or in hieratic. In either representation the number system was always given in base 10. The number 1 was depicted by a simple stroke, the number 2 was represented by two strokes, etc. The numbers 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and 1 million had their own hieroglyphs. Number 10 is a hobble for cattle, number 100 is represented by a coiled rope, the number 1000 is represented by a lotus flower, the number 10,000 is represented by a finger, the number 100,000 is represented by a frog, and a million was represented by a god with his hands raised in adoration. Egyptian numerals date back to the predynastic period. Ivory labels from Abydos record the use of this number system. It is also common to see the numerals in offering scenes to indicate the number of items offered. The king's daughter Neferishabit is shown with an offering of 1,000 oxen, bread, beer, etc. The Egyptian number system was additive. Large numbers were represented by collections of the glyphs and the value was obtained by simply adding the individual numbers together. The Egyptians almost exclusively used fractions of the form 1, n. One notable exception is the fraction two-thirds, which is frequently found in the mathematical texts. Very rarely a special glyph was used to denote three-quarters. The fraction one-half was represented by a glyph that may have depicted a piece of linen folded in two. The fraction two-thirds was represented by the glyph for a mouth with two different sized strokes. The rest of the fractions were always represented by a mouth superimposed over a number. Topic. Multiplication and division Egyptian multiplication was done by repeated doubling of the number to be multiplied the multiplicand, and choosing which of the doublings to add together essentially a form of binary arithmetic, a method that links to the Old Kingdom. The multiplicand was written next to the figure 1, the multiplicand was then added to itself, and the result written next to the number 2. The process was continued until the doublings gave a number greater than half of the multiplier. Then the doubled numbers 1, 2, etc. would be repeatedly subtracted from the multiplier to select which of the results of the existing calculations should be added together to create the answer. As a shortcut for larger numbers, the multiplicand can also be immediately multiplied by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, etc. For example, problem 69 on the Rhine Papyrus RMP provides the following illustration, as if hieroglyphic symbols were used rather than the RMP's actual hieratic script. That denotes the intermediate results that are added together to produce the final answer. The table above can also be used to divide 1120 by 80. We would solve this problem by finding the quotient 80 as the sum of those multipliers of 80 that add up to 1120. In this example that would yield a quotient of 10 plus 4 equals 14. A more complicated example of the division algorithm is provided by problem 66. A total of 3,200 row of fat are to be distributed evenly over 365 days. First the scribe would double 365 repeatedly until the largest possible multiple of 365 is reached, which is smaller than 3,200. In this case 8 times 365 is 2,920 and further addition of multiples of 365 would clearly give a value greater than 3,200. Next it is noted that 2 3 plus 1 10 plus 1 2190 display style 2 thirds plus 1 tenth plus 1 2190th times 365 gives us the value of 280 we need hence we find that 3200 divided by 365 must equal 8 plus 2 3 plus 
1 10 plus 1 2190 display style 8 plus 2 thirds plus 1 tenth plus 1 2190 topic algebra Egyptian algebra problems appear in both the Rhine Mathematical Papyrus and the Moscow Mathematical Papyrus as well as several other sources. Aha problems involve finding unknown quantities referred to as aha if the sum of the quantity and parts of it are given. The Rhine Mathematical Papyrus also contains four of these type of problems. Problems 1, 19, and 25 of the Moscow Papyrus are aha problems. For instance problem 19 asks one to calculate a quantity taken one and one half times and added to four to make ten. In other words, in modern mathematical notation we are asked to solve the linear equation 3 2 times x plus 4 equals 10 display style 3 halves times x plus 4 equals 10. Solving these aha problems involves a technique called method of false position. The technique is also called the method of false assumption. The scribe would substitute an initial guess of the answer into the problem. The solution using the false assumption would be proportional to the actual answer, and the scribe would find the answer by using this ratio. The mathematical writings show that the scribes used least common multiples to turn problems with fractions into problems using integers. The multiplicative factors were often recorded in red ink and are referred to as red auxiliary numbers. The use of the Horus I fractions shows some rudimentary knowledge of geometrical progression. Knowledge of arithmetic progressions is also evident from the mathematical sources. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Quadratic equations. The ancient Egyptians were the first civilization to develop and solve second-degree quadratic equations. This information is found in the Berlin Papyrus fragment. Additionally, the Egyptians solve first-degree algebraic equations found in Rhine Mathematical Papyrus. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geometry. There are only a limited number of problems from ancient Egypt that concern geometry. Geometric problems appear in both the Moscow Mathematical Papyrus MMP and in the Rhine Mathematical Papyrus RMP. The examples demonstrate that the ancient Egyptians knew how to compute areas of several geometric shapes and the volumes of cylinders and pyramids. Area Triangles – The scribes record problems computing the area of a triangle RMP and MMP. Rectangles – Problems regarding the area of a rectangular plot of land appear in the RMP and the MMP. A similar problem appears in the Lahun Mathematical Papyri in London. Circles – Problem 48 of the RMP compares the area of a circle approximated by an octagon and its circumscribing square. This problem's result is used in Problem 50, where the scribe finds the area of a round field of diameter 9 ket. Hemisphere – Problem 10 in the MMP finds the area of a hemisphere. Volumes Cylindrical granaries – Several problems compute the volume of cylindrical granaries RMP 41 while problem 60 RMP seems to concern a pillar or a cone instead of a pyramid. It is rather small and steep, with a seek reciprocal of slope of 4 palms per cubit. In section IV.3 of the Lahun Mathematical Papyri the volume of a granary with a circular base is found is using the same procedure as RMP 43. Rectangular granaries, several problems in the Moscow Mathematical Papyrus problem 14 and in the Rhine Mathematical Papyrus numbers 44, 45, 46 compute the volume of a rectangular granary. Truncated pyramid frustum, the volume of a truncated pyramid is computed in MMP 14. The Sakyed Problem 56 of the RMP indicates an understanding of the idea of geometric similarity. This problem discusses the ratio run rise, also known as the Sakyed. Such a formula would be needed for building pyramids. In the next problem, problem 57, the height of a pyramid is calculated from the base length and the seat Egyptian for the reciprocal of the slope, while problem 58 gives the length of the base and the height and uses these measurements to compute the Sakyed. 
in problem 59 part 1 computes the secured, while the second part may be a computation to check the answer. If you construct a pyramid with base side 12 cubits and with a secured of 5 palms 1 finger, what is its altitude? See also Babylonian, Hellenistic, Roman, and Islamic mathematics Egyptian hieroglyphics and transliteration of ancient Egyptian Ancient Egyptian units of measurement and technology Mathematics and architecture <laughs>